And now the sheet is wiped clean. And they'll be starting on a level playing field. So whatever was done in that qualification is forgotten, put behind them as they move to a different range as well. This is the finals range. Some of them already will have competed at the final earlier on in the week. Others, this is their first appearance. And this is the uh, start list. The man who qualified in first place, Aches in shooting position eight. The man from Uzbekistan. And a wide range of ages, from the 50s to the teenagers. And these are our eight who will line up for competition. Waiting to be introduced to those here at the Osaka shooting range and to us, of course, as well. They will be anxious to get on with it, but they will have to wait just for a minute or two longer. Shooting position eight, this is server Ivor Gimov from Uzbekistan. Bronze in Rio in the 10 meter air pistol. And just outside the medals in here in the 10 meter air pistol, he was fifth. From India, Singraj, just the one name. A bronze earlier in the 10 meter air pistol competition. Looking for a second one here, the 39 year old. I like his hat as well, gotta be honest. Well, we've seen Sergei Malyshev already in these uh, finals. Uh, he was first to go in the 10 meter final and fourth in the 25 meter. And he will be hoping to get on the podium at last. This is India's young hope, Manish Nawal, just 19 years of age from Faradabad. Uh, in the final for the 10 meter air pistol, he'll be hoping to go a little bit better, a little bit deeper into this final. Yang Chao, China's, one of two of China's uh, representatives here, 42 years of age, gold, of course, in the men's 10 meter air pistol to go with uh, the same gold in Rio. Zivko Papas from Serbia, 53 years of age now, fourth Paralympic Games, his best sixth in London in the 10 meter air pistol. Liu Xialong of China, the 32 year old from Guizhou Province Club, yet to get in the medals, was fourth in the 10 meter air pistol competition. And here is our, well, our superstar from Iran, Sarah Javan Mahdi. Two golds in Rio, already the gold in the women's 10 meter air pistol. Who wouldn't bet against her repeating it here? Those are eight athletes. The targets are ready. We are ready. And very soon the athletes will be ready as well. Now making sure they are ready to go. And a uh, high percentage of left-handers. Oh, what a top-class field. It's now just a moment for them to make sure they find that position where they lined up earlier for those sighting shots. Now they can raise the pistol again, but they can't make a shot until the competition starts. And you can see different impairments resulting in different seating and standing positions. Different footwear for some of those athletes that are standing as well. If you are standing, you are allowed special footwear. Not everyone will go with it. Here's the 36-year-old. Javan Mahdi at the other end. Right hand side as we look at it. Ibrahimov. G is Liu Xialong, the Chinese athlete. I, and I, I like this man's style. I love his hat. I know, you've mentioned it. I think you really I, are a fan. We I might am. have to find out where, I, where in India you have to head <laughs> to get such a wonderful well, hat. I've already purchased a hat here in Tokyo. I'm always, I'm always open to a good hat, and obviously, Singraj, well, as long as it works for you, you know, whether it's a baseball cap or uh, just a, a little peak, something the athletes use just to keep outside it, 
distractions away from you, really. You'll see the blinders over the eye as well, the uh, non-shooting eye. Some don't bother with a hat at all, but we'll have a, this sort of a spectacle set up as well. Whatever works for you. Over four minutes, just over four minutes on the clock for these five shots. Start well, and you're in a good position. Do not end up adrift now, because you will struggle to stay in this competition. We're underway in this 50-metre mixed pistol competition. Here is the 19-year-old Manish Nawal from the Hirayana Club. Younger brother, member of the able-bodied national junior squad, so it runs in the family. In the tents, you'll be doing all right. Well, 50 metres away, it's really such a challenge. The longest distance we have here at the Paralympic Games in the pistol event. And as a result, we'll see the scores not quite as high as obviously we would at the 25 or the 10 metre. And of course, unlike rifle, no real stability. Apart from uh, just holding that arm out and trying to make sure your breathing is good. 7.4 was the first from this athlete, and then a 7.5. So uh, the gold medalist, the current champion, is just struggling a little bit at the bottom. And uh, Singraj, a 9.3 and a 10.1. Only two athletes in the 10 ring, and only just, and they're both the Indian athletes. So there will be a lot of variability and a lot of changing around here. Well, it just takes one mistake, and we can see someone drop from lead right down to eighth and at the moment it's just being consistent and the pressure really starts to mount once we reach that knockout phase of this final Devon Mardi taking her time that's better 9.3 will help her she's still bottom of the pile at the moment yang in seventh as well here is uh, yang chow in fact, he's just dropped down with that 7.3 into eighth place. Although, as he gets ready for his next shot, Ibrahimov with a two 6.7s. And he started well with a 9.4, and he's dropped down to eighth. And Yang here is in seventh. It's, it's changing as we speak. And uh, at the moment, Zivko Papas of Serbia has kept it steady in the nine ring mostly. And he is top. So. Yeah, you wouldn't want to predict the outcome of this. One more shot for most of these athletes in this series. Now with a couple more to go. Everyone shooting at a different tempo, of course. You can just see the shot of the monitor there next to Yang. And that'll just let him know where his shots are going. If he does fancy taking a look, he'll glance down just to see if there's a group forming and if there's any minor alterations he could make to those sites. Well, we're keeping an eye on Javan Mardi, the uh, current Paralympic champion. And uh, after that 9-3, a 6-5, now a 9-4. So it's very variable from her. And she is still at the bottom at the moment. At the top, it's it's moving around like nobody's business. We mentioned Papas was top. Well, a 7-2 has dropped him down to equal fourth. And Singraj, the man with a hat, is top at the moment with a 10-3 to finish off. So excellent work by him. Bit of work to do from some of the others. Well, here's the standings after those first five. We've got another five shots before we start to get the pairs of shots, which will mean knockout time. But Jevin Mardi, the defending Paralympic champion, not putting herself in the best position at the moment but you notice down in sixth as well it's Yang the other gold medalist from these Tokyo Paralympics and those two maybe just find a little bit of fatigue as we get towards the end of the Paralympic Games it's the man in possession and apart from the 6.6 .6, it's not a bad collection of targets that and you are going to get the odd random one it's just the nature of 
this particular event. An 8.5s rather spoiling Manishev's uh, set there. Now, well, again, it started really strongly. 10-1, then a 7-7, then recovered. Second series then of five shots. Kao uh, still how straight Singaraj is. Looking to keep it as calm as possible. Some athletes will claim they can shoot between heartbeats. Not everyone agrees that's possible, but... Uh, well, if you slow your heartbeat down enough, I guess you've got a good second or so in which to do so. Well, a 10-4, he's certainly very calm and collected, Singraj. This is shooting position C. This is uh, Sergei Melishov. Started with an 8-3, not a disaster, but not going to get you up the leaderboard. Well, Malashev has made it into his third final and yet to win a medal. Yeah, eighth and fourth. And uh, it's frustrating, isn't it, as an athlete? It, it, you're in the final, but you never quite know if it's going to be your day or not. Even if you're the, the best athlete with the best record, uh, Jaffa Mardi is a case in point. In fact, she's just jumped into seventh place. And Ibrahimov of Uzbekistan with the 7-5 is down in eighth. This is Leo Shalong. Not shooting his best, but he's in the midfield at the moment. Another man who's finished just outside the podium, fourth in the men's 10-meter air pistol. It's a horrible place to finish up, isn't it? It's so close and yet so far, especially if you drop out on your final shot. Oh, especially in shooting and the way the format is and that brutal knockout system that we'll get to witness in just a few shots' time. Not happening for Javan Mardi at the moment. She says in shooting, having the right skills and equipment, equally important. And she said being introverted has contributed greatly to my success. She, she started trying volleyball, said didn't suit my personality. Tried individual sports like chess, table tennis, athletics. And then she said, finally, the sport that her grandfather was involved in. And it's interesting that she says that. She just likes the fact that she's in her own little world, doesn't have to bother about teammates. Well, we do see some extroverts in shooting as well, don't we? But they have to sort of maintain that and l keep it contained until the final shot is fired and then they can release their personality and their excitement, so to speak. Yeah, I, mean, I think of Daniel Repicoli, the Australian in, in the Olympic uh, version of uh, these events, who calls himself, I think it's six foot six of huggability and he has his lucky socks and, you know, he's, he's, he's a big man with a big beard. But, you know, it takes all sorts, of course. And Singraj is the man here at the Paralympics who has scored 10-4, 10-5, then a 6-7, and then a 10-3. So one of these shots you don't actually see on our graphic. It was so far away from the 10 ring. But he's still top of the pile. And by some distance, he just needs this one. Well, an 8-1. We might have just been watching too closely there. It's still on our screen, but only just. I think uh, he'll be happy with that series, though. A 10-7 from uh, Malashev of the Russian Paralympic Committee has brought him up into second place. Excellent work from him, and the rest were very solid as well. So Singrush still top, Malashev knocking on the door, and Liao Xiaolong just ahead of his compatriot, and at the bottom, Ibrahimov and Javan Mardi still a long way away from Papas, and I don't think it's going to happen for her. Well, it's really quite shocking to see, isn't it? I mean, she's already won a gold medal at these Paralympic Games, and being the defending Paralympic champion, there's nothing to show that her form wasn't there, but this man really is coming into form at the right time. Now it really does start to build that pressure, the nervous moments as the athletes are looking over their shoulder, metaphorically speaking. 
hoping to not be the first to leave this competition. Yeah, we go to single shots. And uh, a poor shot in a series of five, not a disaster. A poor shot here, <laughs> might well be. See the clock counting down on these athletes. They're getting the shots away, 9-1. It's uh, solid from uh, Singraj. A little adjustment to the site for uh, Javan Mahdi. Uh, 8.9 from her will keep her in contention. But uh, she is, uh, what, four points away from sixth place. So perhaps not for much longer. It is uh, Ibrahimov who is uh, in, well, in danger of dropping out. But it's not like, inconceivable. It might be the Iranian who goes. Well, look at the top of the table. We've got a joint lead there by Malishev and Singraj. 101.2, and they are starting to open up a bit of a gap in that battle for the gold. It's first time in quite some time. Singraj has not been on his own at the top. So these are the two who will be hoping to stay in. They've got uh, one shot to see what they can do. A 7-7, not good enough last time from the man from Uzbekistan. Server Ibrahimov, who qualified top, believe it or not, and now look where he finds himself. 8 4 and a 9 8. And it's only just, but it is Ibrahimov who hasn't done enough and will have to leave first in this 50 meter competition. And he'll be disappointed with that. Bronze in Rio in the 10 meter air pistol. He was hoping for another medal here. Tried powerlifting, tried athletics before shooting came along. Offered a chance to go to the capital, Tashkent, in Uzbekistan. And the rest, as they say, is history. Here he is in a Paralympic final, but it's not to be for him. Serva Ibrahimov is our first athlete to go with a round 100. It's not enough to stay in the competition. He takes eighth place. Well, Javan Mardi. It's really not helped her chances with that last shot, and she is now really might have scraped into top seven, but she is certainly in the danger zone. Not a lot of time to regroup either. We are about to start that 50 second shot clock again. Malashev is uh, ahead. By a point now, 9 3 to 8 3, whilst we were watching the bottom athletes. So, Singraj in a spot of bother. Javan Mardi in more than a spot of bother. And 8 7 surely is not going to be enough. No, it's not. Well, what a shame for Sarah Javan Mardi. We mentioned her right at the start. Could be the woman who took two gold medals in two Paralympic Games. Well, she still has three. She won the gold in the women's 10 meter air pistol. But the woman who lives in Tehran will have to make her way away from the shooting positions. Quite a big gap between her and sixth place. One more shot. One more chance. But I really don't think she's going to make it. 8-7 to 9-2. It's a four and a half point gap. See the uh, way these pistols are moulded. Everyone has a slightly different way, but it has to be the same weight. It is checked. Crunch time then. Javan Mardi didn't help herself in that first single shot. I don't think she's got anything here unless Papas no, and eight will do. Better from Javan Mardi. But it is still. Uh, well, in shooting terms, a country mile between her and sixth place. What a shame. Well, no doubt she's going to leave disappointed, but she will be, once this disappointment is washed over, she'll be celebrating the gold she won earlier on. And now her Paralympic Games performance is over. She can truly relax and indulge in that medal from a couple of days ago. Yeah, they were first female Iranian athlete to win shooting gold at the Paralympic Games and she auctioned 
one of those Paralympic Games medals, gold medals from Rio, to raise funds for the 2017 Iranian earthquake, the victims of that. So uh, someone with a big heart as well, but uh, not repeating her heroics this time. And that's the nature of the sport. Sometimes it's your day and sometimes it's not. Well, back to the competition and it's Malishev who's been opening up that lead at the top now sits three points ahead of Lo from China. Yeah, and Singraj, who was so dominant, down into fourth place. Yang somehow in third, but only just. So the two Chinese athletes looking pretty good. Malishev, this is the man, top of the pile. Nine one is all right. It's not going to set you apart from the others, if truth be told. Yang with a 7-5, that won't help much either. 9-2 from Papas, who is at the bottom of the athletes that we have still at the range, although he might have thought he's in with a chance. Yang Chao, who was up in the top three, now down in fifth after a 7.5, and now are, has leaped his compatriot with a 10.4. Well, all to play for each and every shot. We're seeing dramatic changes. That's what happens when you're shooting from 50 metres away. Consistency becomes really quite a challenge. Yang, close to that fight-off position, having just previously been in medal position before that previous shot. Well, he's claimed, climbed it back pretty well there with a 10.0. I'm sure he'll breathe a sigh of relief. It is the Serbian who will have to make way. In uh, sixth place, Zivklo Papaz. His fourth Paralympic Games yet to get on the podium. And he equals his best from London in the air pistol competition. Sixth place, another man who tried other sports, wheelchair basketball, he's played that at a national level. He said he took up uh, parasport as a way of meeting people, which is a lovely <laughs> way to uh, put why you've got involved. But uh, to be in a Paralympic final, well, that's something special, isn't it? He's been in quite a few. Not a medal, though. Sixth place for Zivko Papas. Well, we've seen a bit of reversal of the almost the teams of India and China. So before the last two shots, it was Yang and Lu holding silver and bronze position and Jingra Nawal in fourth and fifth, and that's swapped around. But one thing that hasn't changed, Sergei Malashev remains on top. His lead slightly smaller than it was earlier, but still in a comfortable lead. Next set of shots then. And this is uh, top and second place. And it's, uh, well, it's within the margin of errors, you might want to say. Oh, it's good from Malishev, but not so good from Nawal. And that may well drop him down a couple of places. Uh, Singraj with a 10.5. That was excellent. And he does go into second place. Nawal dropping down into third. And the two Chinese athletes, well, in uh, equal fourth place after an 8-8 and a 7-8 for Lu and Yang, respectively. So it's tight in the battle for, certainly for bronze. And it could conceivably get tight for the battle for gold as well. well it does add another interesting dynamic, doesn't it, when we've got athletes competing against each other who will be trying to win a medal for the same nation. Well, bear in mind, these two athletes are from China, Liao and Yang. They are on exactly the same score, so in effect, it's a shoot-off. What, uh, what will you be thinking as <laughs> the Chinese coach? Well, they'll be hoping they can move up into medal contention. Well, how about that? A 10-5, that'll get you out of trouble. And it certainly lands his compatriot in trouble because his shot was not good enough. Yang Chao, gold in the men's 10-meter air pistol, and did the same, of course, in Rio, looking 
for a 50 metre title. It's not happened, and the 42 year old has to settle for fifth place. Well, that's now both of the gold medalists coming into this competition from the 10 metre events out. Just shows how different it is when shooting from 50 metres. There's the standings so far. It's Malashev who's been dominant at the top, but now just down to a one-point lead. Well, we do have athletes who have won medals before, but nobody has won a Paralympic gold out of these four. We'll worry about that shortly. Next two shots will sort out who's going to miss out on the medals. And Manish Nawal, after that 10-4-9-3 in the previous two shots, a 7-7 and 8-3 has dropped him from looking at perhaps a goal down into, can I hang on here? He's a couple of, well, a point and a half away from Liao. This is the battle at the top. Point between the two. And a bit more than a point between the two now. That's really poor from Singraj, and that might really drop him down into the danger zone as well. Malashev hanging in there. And Singraj, as predicted, just 0.3 behind his compatriots. And now it's the two Indians who are trying to stay in the competition. Well, it's still pretty close, incredibly close between second and fourth. 0.9 separating them there. Malashev with a 1.6 lead. He's opened it up again. The pressure on the two athletes from India. But uh, Liao will know that any mistake from him, a seven or even a six, and everyone, they know the bets are all off. This is an important time. Now well, with a 10-8 and then a 10-5, an 8-8 from Singraj and uh, the man in the trilby. And we cannot quite believe what has just happened. Well, he's been leapfrogged by now, but whilst we were watching the two Indians, a 7-5 from Liao Xiaolong has dropped him down into fourth place. And so it is the Chinese athletes. We we're just saying how someone a bit higher up in the pecking order can have an off shot, and it happened to Liu Xiaolong. And both Chinese athletes are now out. Well, that was a shocking final shot. That did the damage. Yeah. No, at his debut Paralympic Games. Finished fourth in the 10 metre, and now he's finished fourth in the 50 metre. Oh, it's a horrible, isn't it? When you look down at the monitor and you think, oh, oh, wasn't quite what I was hoping for. So, India with two medals guaranteed, and uh, now not far behind the 19 year old in his first games, not far behind Malashev, who is lining up for his first medal at these Tokyo Games. So two more shots and then we'll know who has bronze. That's decent for now. Singraj is going to need something spectacular here to keep close to his compatriot. And he held that for a very long time and it gets to the stage where the longer you hold, the more the muscles start to fatigue and it can end up being a little disastrous, but not disastrous, just maybe not quite enough. Well, he's two points behind now. And uh, interestingly, Malashev a 6.9, whilst we were watching the Indians, drops down into second place. And he's only 0.2 ahead of bronze medal uh, placed Singraj. So look at Nawal, who has that 10, he has dropped I say dropped, he's pushed himself up into first place. And uh, he is quite some way ahead in first place. Nice. And he will hear what the, what the announcer is saying. It, it will filter in, and you've just got to then try and filter it back out again. So well, Malashev, I mean, had been on top for so long, and he had almost a two-point lead at one point, and now that, that error has cost him dearly. Well, it's been coming, hasn't it? An 8-8 eight, eight, and then a 6-9. Let's see if he can stay in here. It's not a done deal just yet. Oh, an 
Who might well be. Singray just has to hold on here, and he does more than hold on. A 10 7 is spectacular. And uh, we're just waiting to have confirmation of Nawal, a 9.8 from him. So it's tight at the top for the two Indians, and it is the man representing the Russian Paralympic Committee who gets his first medal of these games to add to the two silvers he has previously from London and from Beijing. Well, congratulations to the 45-year-old. Been shooting since 1986. Well, now it is experience up against youth. Singraj, the 39-year-old, has been in a sticky situation a few times and he's worked his way back up through the field. But Anish Nawal at just 19, currently with the lead. Yeah, 20 years of difference. But both at their first Paralympic Games, Singraj, though, like you say, a bit of experience under his belt. Got that bronze in the men's 10-metre air pistol, guaranteed at least a silver. Two more shots to work out who's going to take the gold, and it is fairly tight. Could change. Bit of wiggle room, but not taken advantage of by Singraj. Just point one, he advances. And so both of them in the eight ring. <laughs> not on the phone. You've done very well, by the way, coach. <laughs> India gold, India silver, but will it be Narwhal or will it be Singraj, who is on the top step of the podium? Ah, there's the coach, not looking at his phone. Well, it's a win-win, isn't it, for the team from India? Just not for these athletes. It's only a win for one of these two. Tense moments. This Osaka shooting range. I'm sure either of them would have taken the silver before we got underway. But now, now they want to take the gold. It's Narwhal's to lose. He is almost two points ahead, but it can change. We've seen that before. Can Narwhal, the teenager, keep his cool and keep his calm here? Last shot of this competition. That should do it. I don't think Singraj can overhaul. He's keeping calm. He's waiting for his moment. He likes to take his time. And it is a 9-4. It's not good enough to take the goal, but a little fist bump because he takes the silver. But it's all about this teenager. How about that? His second final in his first Paralympic Games, and he just happens to take gold. Well, what an outstanding performance came into this competition with a bronze medal at the World Championships two years ago. But in his first Paralympic Games, like you say, had the experience of competing in a final in the 10-metre air pistol, only managed seventh. But what a day for India. As Narwhal goes to congratulate his teammate. Coach Singh is delighted, Raj. isn't he, as well? And why wouldn't you be? That is a day at the office to be proud of. And Singraj and Nawal embrace. And along comes uh, Malishev, his first medal of these games as well. And these are the three that have made it onto the podium. Excellent work from India. They are powerhouses in shooting. And they have shown it here as well. Malishev, silver in London. Silver in Beijing in 25 meter and air pistol, respectively. And now he has a medal in 50 meter as well. <laughs> Coach can't believe it. He's still shaking his head. Singraj with the silver. His second medal of these games after the bronze of the men's 10 meter air pistol. What a week he has had. And what a day for this young man. His young brother is a member of the able-bodied national junior squad. I'm sure he can go home and say, look, look what I've done. I bet you can do it as well. Paralympic record as well. Gold medal for Manish Nawal. <laughs> Pumped up the Indian contingent, aren't they? And no doubt why. 
I think he's feeling it a little bit here. Manish now, all of a sudden, the emotions are coming through. Confirmation of how they finished. Sergei Malyshev of the Russian Paralympic Committee with bronze. Singraj of India with silver. And Manish Nawal, the 19-year-old, takes the gold.